Welcome to this video on getting help when programming. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this video I'm going to explain to you why I'm a manual programmer. If I haven't got a manual, I can't program. And that's true. I have no memory for code whatsoever. Oh, if I use something time and time again, I can remember that. But don't ask me to remember anything complicated. I won't. So let me show you how I overcome that and how you can overcome an awful lot of problems that you might have when you're programming. I'm going to use Java as an example, but the process holds true for any computer language. What you do is you go to any search engine, I'm using Google, but you can use any, you type in the name of the language in which you're interested. Now in my case, I'm going to use Java as an example. If there are different versions of the language that you're using, for example, if you're using Visual Basic .NET, then it's a good idea to say that you're using VB.NET 2010, say. Once you've got the language in, a space, and then whatever it is you're looking for. So let's suppose I'm looking for tree view. Having got the tree view items up, I don't really need everything about tree view. What I really want, if I'm programming, is to be able to see an example of what's going on. So I click on the examples, and up comes a list of various sites that have examples on how to use tree view. Now it's just a matter of ploughing through to find one that suits my way of doing things. And you may have to try three, four, five, maybe even ten, before you find that one that really does it for you. And then there's a second trick. So let's suppose I go to this second one here. And here's an example on how to use tree view, I would hope. No, don't like that one. I'll go back. There's nothing saying that you have to use the first one no. Ah, now this is better. Here there's some code, but it's not very well laid out. I won't go with that one. So what about this top one? Ah, now that's better. If you are using Java, by the way, docsoracle.com Java SE is an excellent place to go. So here I've now got code I want with examples and it's nicely laid out. I can see what I want. Now I can use the standard programming technique of copy, paste, amend. What you do is you copy the example from here, paste it into your Java program, amend it to suit what you want it to do, and hey presto. But there's a little problem. You've done it in that program, and by using a technique like this, you can make it work. But you won't know how to do it the next time, and that's always a problem. So let me show you a little trick. I use Evernote Clipper. So if you're using Chrome as your browser, you can add different applications. And I've added Evernote to mine because Evernote is absolutely wonderful. And when I find a page I like, I can clip it. So I would click on this. At the moment I'm signed out of Evernote, so I'm not going to do it because there'd be the sign-in process. But trust me, I just click on that and it now keeps this page forever. Having got that, I can then use... Evernote itself, which comes as an application, uh, an application within Chrome, and as an app on my mobile phone, I can use that uh, to keep track of all my code. So here I'm in my Java notebook. If I was looking for tree view, I would type in tree view up the top here, and there's the tree view page. Oh, look. And it's got all the code that I like. So you can use Evernote and a browser, a search engine, to 
to find what you want. And those are excellent for filling in those bits of code that you really need. They're the two tools that almost all programmers nowadays use. But there is one other little trick. Let's suppose that you're not too sure how TreeView works. Yes, you've got your code to go, but is it really the code that you understand? Why is it doing that? A good place to go is YouTube. So let's go to YouTube, Try type in Java Tree View. YouTube isn't very good for getting code, but it is excellent for having explanations about how to do things. So a simple demo, and again it's the same principle. You may have to go through three or four different videos before you find one that explains it in a way that makes sense to you. There's a little work involved, but you can get at all the code you want and the explanations that you want very easily.